Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're going to dive even deeper into the incredible story of the Igudar granaries in the southern regions of Morocco. In this video, we'll embark on an incredible journey, exploring the fascinating history, cultural significance, and architectural beauty of the Igudar granaries. Get ready to be amazed as we uncover the secrets of these remarkable structures. Now, for something really fascinating. Let's start with the origin of the word Igudar. The plural form of the Berber word Agadir is Igudar, which means common storehouse or collective warehouse. This term really emphasizes the social function and importance of these incredible structures. The Igudar granaries are found in great numbers in the magnificent Anti-Atlas Mountains region of Morocco, especially around the breathtaking Sousse Valley. These incredible structures were built to preserve grain and other valuable materials that were absolutely vital to the survival of the local population for centuries. Igudar's fascinating history is inextricably linked to the intricate social, economic, and political dynamics of the region. The origins of Igudar granaries are deeply rooted in the rich Berber culture. Incredible! Researchers estimate that the first examples of these structures appeared around the 12th century. Some historians even date this even further back, to the 10th century. This just adds to the allure of Igudar. Its history is shrouded in mystery, with only a few written records and no precise records of its construction. The Igudar granaries are a truly fascinating phenomenon, and their emergence is closely linked to the social and economic conditions in the region. The Anti-Atlas Mountains present a fascinating challenge to those who farm there. The harsh geography and climate make agricultural production difficult, increasing the risk of famine. In these challenging circumstances, local communities were forced to think outside the box to find ways to survive. And so, the Igudar granaries were born. These incredible structures had one main purpose, to safely store harvested grains and other valuable materials. But over time, Igudar granaries became so much more than just simple storage spaces and they began to function as centers of social organization, security, and even justice. The incredible architectural features of Igudar granaries reflect their amazing functionality and defense needs. A typical Igudar is usually built in the form of a four-cornered or circular tower, a truly magnificent sight to behold. These magnificent towers are often located in the most strategic positions, on hills or mountain slopes. This positioning offers a fantastic defensive advantage and protection against floods and other natural disasters. The walls of Igudar are usually built of local stones, which are used in a variety of ways to create a truly unique and beautiful structure. These stones are combined with lime mortar or mud, which is a truly ingenious combination. The thicker the walls, the more durable the structure. This also protects the materials inside from the elements. The majority of Igudars have a single entrance, which is usually small and narrow, perfect for keeping out unwanted visitors. This incredible design is all about boosting security and making it much harder for potential attackers to gain access. The amazing Igudar is usually divided into multiple floors, each one more incredible than the last. Each floor is divided into storage cells, which are used by various families or clan members. These amazing storage cells are called gorfas, and each is assigned to a specific family or group member. The igudar is a truly adaptable structure, with the size and number of gorfas varying according to the size of the igudar and the size of the community it serves. One of the most incredible things about Igudar warehouses is the intricate system of locks and keys. Each gorfa is protected by a unique wooden lock, which is a truly remarkable feature of the Igudar warehouses. These incredible locks are handmade by local artisans 
and each one is completely unique. The incredible complexity and variety of the locks demonstrate just how advanced and impressive the security system in Igudar truly is. The management of Igudar warehouses is based on a fascinatingly complex system that reflects the social structure of the community. Guess what? Each Igudar is managed by a selected group of elders or respected community members. Guess what? These managers are called Amin and are responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the Igudar. The Amin's duties are many and varied. They ensure security, keep a record of stored materials, resolve disputes, and organize the maintenance of the Igudar. The role of the Amin is not only limited to practical management tasks, it is also their responsibility to represent and uphold the moral and ethical values of the community, which is a huge responsibility. Igudar granaries do so much more than just store grain and other foodstuffs. They also protect the community's valuables. And the best part is that these items can include jewelry, weapons, religious texts, and even money. The Igadar also served as a kind of collective bank or safe deposit box, which was a truly amazing and invaluable service. The Igadar grew in importance, becoming more and more significant for society and the economy. These structures began to play a central role, not only for the storage of goods, but also for the regulation of social relations, a truly exciting development. For example, Marriage contracts, property agreements, and other important documents were often stored and signed in the Igudar, which was a truly remarkable development. And there's more! Igudar warehouses also became part of the community's justice system. The Igudar was often the scene of exciting disputes and lively disagreements. Amin and other respected community members would act as mediators to resolve these disputes and they were always successful. This practice shows that the Igudar was so much more than just a physical structure. It was a symbol of social order and harmony. The fascinating history of the Igudar warehouses has followed a course parallel to the political and economic changes of the region. In the 16th and 17th centuries, the Igudar system really came into its own. The weakening of central authority in Morocco and the rise of regional powers increased its importance further still. During this period, local communities were so confident in the Igudar system that they built more Igudars to ensure their own security and economic stability. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the Igudar system was affected by the reassertion of central authority and the emergence of modern state structures in Morocco. A fascinating period of change. However, the remote and inaccessible nature of the anti-Atlas region meant that these changes had little impact there. And so the Agudar granaries continued to retain their importance. In the early 19th century, the Agudar system was presented with a new set of challenges under French colonial rule. The colonial administration sought to bring about exciting new changes and modernize traditional administrative structures, which affected the role and importance of the Igudar. However, the attachment of local communities to these structures and the practical benefits of the system meant that the Igudar survived and even thrived. After Morocco's independence in 1956, the Igudar granaries entered a new era of exciting change. The Igudar has had to adapt to the changing times with the development of modern state structures, the advancement of agricultural techniques, and the expansion of transportation networks. While the traditional role of the Igadar has been partially diminished, it has still managed to retain its cultural heritage value. The good news is that these structures have continued to retain their value as cultural heritage. Since the 1990s, there has been a fantastic new recognition of the historical and cultural significance of the Igadar granaries. The Moroccan government and international organizations have taken the initiative to preserve and restore these unique structures, which is fantastic news. We are delighted to announce that UNESCO is working to inscribe some Igudar complexes on the World Heritage List. 
Today, Igudar warehouses are used for all kinds of amazing things. Some of these incredible structures still serve their traditional purpose, while others have been converted into museums, cultural centers, or tourist attractions. This transformation is great for the local economy and helps to preserve our cultural heritage. The Igudar warehouses have undergone some fascinating changes in their architectural features over time. For example, in some Igudars, the original stone walls have been partially or completely rebuilt and the roofs repaired or reinforced, which is really exciting to see. The great news is that restoration efforts have generally sought to preserve the original character and architectural integrity of the buildings. The Igudar warehouses have also undergone some amazing transformations over time. In some Igudars, the original gorfas were preserved and restored to their former glory. In other cases, the interior was given a makeover to suit new and exciting functions. For example, in Igudars converted into museums, amazing new exhibition spaces and visitor routes have been created. And the landscape around the Igudar warehouses has also changed over time, for the better. In a wonderful change of fortune, many of these historic gems are now situated in proximity to modern residential areas. This presents an exciting opportunity for the conservation and sustainability of Igudar. The cultural significance of the Igudar granaries is not limited to their physical structures. They are so much more than that. And they're also part of the intangible cultural heritage, reflecting the traditions, values, and way of life of the Berber community. How amazing is that? For example, the wonderful traditional knowledge and practices related to the management and use of Igudar have been passed down from generation to generation. And there's more! Igudar granaries have also been the source of local legends and stories. The stories told about these structures are a window into the values, fears, and hopes of the community. In some incredible stories, Igudar are depicted as sacred places protected by supernatural forces. In other stories, they are described as powerful symbols that hold the community together in difficult times. How amazing is that? The artistic and aesthetic value of Igudar granaries is truly remarkable and should not be underestimated. The architecture of these structures is a testament to the incredible craftsmanship of the local community. The wooden doors and locks are particularly impressive, showcasing intricate carving that's simply breathtaking. This incredible craftsmanship is not only functional, but also of aesthetic value. The conservation and restoration of Igudar warehouses presents a number of exciting challenges. The fact that many of these structures are located in remote and inaccessible areas makes the restoration work an exciting challenge from a logistical point of view. What's more, the use of original construction techniques and materials allows us to preserve traditional craft knowledge, which is a fantastic bonus. Another exciting challenge is adapting Igudar to the needs of modern use. For Igudars used for touristic purposes, it is a wonderful challenge to find the perfect balance between managing the flow of visitors and preserving the structures. At the same time, it is really important to make sure that we keep the traditional links that local communities have with these structures. The future of Igudar warehouses is bright. With the development of sustainable conservation and utilization strategies, we can ensure their survival for generations to come. These strategies will include the participation of local communities, the preservation of traditional knowledge, and the application of modern conservation techniques. A truly exciting prospect. At the same time, there is a fantastic opportunity to harness the economic potential of Igudar without damaging its cultural values. It's so inspiring to see the Igudar granaries gaining international recognition. UNESCO's efforts to inscribe them on the World Heritage List are a testament to the universal value of Igudar. 
This fantastic recognition not only helps to preserve these incredible structures, but it also shines a spotlight on the amazing cultural heritage that Morocco has to offer. The Igudar granaries are a shining example of sustainable development and community-based conservation efforts. The good news is that the conservation and management of these structures can be achieved with the active participation of local communities. This approach is all about celebrating the community's role in preserving cultural heritage and boosting local economic development. And there's more. Igudar warehouses also play an important role in environmental sustainability. They were built using local materials and adapted to the environmental conditions, which is really impressive. Today, these amazing features of Igudar are inspiring architects and communities everywhere to create sustainable buildings and source locally. And there's more. Igudar warehouses are also becoming increasingly recognized for their educational potential. They offer a truly unique learning opportunity about local history, culture, architecture, and traditional ways of life. Some Igudars are even hosting educational programs and workshops, sharing all that traditional knowledge and expertise with the younger generations. And there's more. Igudar granaries also have a place in the Digital D. In recent years, some amazing things have been created. 3D modeling, virtual tours, and interactive documentaries have all been made. These digital projects are helping to spread the word about Igudar all over the globe. The research and documentation of the Igudar warehouses is an ongoing and exciting process. Exciting new research is being carried out by archaeologists, historians, and anthropologists to gain a deeper understanding of the history, functions, and social role of these structures. This research reveals the incredible importance of Igudar not only for Moroccan history, but also for human history. Igudar granaries are also facing the challenge of climate change head-on. The future is full of possibilities for these historic structures, despite the challenges posed by rising temperatures, drought, and extreme weather events. Fortunately, there are already some fantastic climate change adaptation strategies in place to protect Igudar. The future of Igudar granaries is bright and full of possibilities, thanks to its rich history. These incredible structures have played a pivotal role in the survival and growth of societies for centuries. Today, they are a shining example of how cultural heritage can be conserved, sustainable tourism can be promoted, and community-based development can be achieved. In conclusion, the Igudar granaries are an absolutely unique part of the cultural heritage of Morocco and humanity. These incredible structures serve as a bridge from the past to the present, offering us a window into traditional ways of life, social organization, and architecture. We all have a part to play in preserving Igudar and passing it on to future generations. It's not just the responsibility of one country, but of all of humanity. Dear viewers, today we're going to dive deep into the fascinating history of the Igudar granaries. We'll be taking a fascinating journey through the history of these incredible structures, from their beginnings to the present day. Along the way, we'll discover their architectural features, explore their social significance, and tackle the challenges they currently face. The Igudar granaries offer us some truly invaluable lessons in understanding our past and shaping our future. I really hope this video has given you a whole new perspective on this amazing cultural heritage of Morocco. If you're keen to find out more, I've shared some fantastic resources in the video description. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments. I can't wait to see you in our next video where we'll be exploring another fascinating historical topic. Bye for now.